computer. Hey, everybody, welcome to Living Well Now's Wednesday night workshop. We're focusing on savvy minerals tonight. Um, and yeah, if you if you've missed previous workshops or if you if you want to go back and look our Living Well Now YouTube channel, we do our best to upload all of those recordings. So August 4th was the musculoskeletal uh, system. And I believe Ange and Andrea rocked that or Ange and some teammates. Anyway, so be sure if you do have interest in learning more um, and checking out other product education workshops, definitely show up to Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Uh, just for, for refreshers. Um, I'm always amazed when I show up to any of the Wednesday night workshops, whether I'm leading them or, or just attending of like the new things that I learned. So uh, all that to say, Sarah Leone is going to uh, facilitate tonight's workshop about Savvy Minerals, and she has quite the quite the past with makeup and i'll let her share about that so but she's a great person to to lead this workshop so Thank thanks you. for thanks for being and here. also can you do that chat yep that on the side I will. awesome i just want to see who's here yep. who's popping on hi linda christina tony and a bunch of other people feel free to say hi in the chat box um and i would love to actually i'm going to introduce myself and then go right into the class but i would love to see you know, what questions does everybody have right off the bat? You know, I, I feel like you're here for a reason. You want to learn something probably particular that you have. And I'd love to make sure that I can at least try to go over, um, at least answer most of your questions. So if you have a question about like foundation, color matching, how to do your eyebrows, you know, where to apply blush, what, what color would suit you best? Um, you know, whatever those questions are, please feel free to use the chat box or if you're on Facebook Live, um, you can comment below and we'll do our best to get back to all of you guys. Okay, so let's see. All right, awesome. So I'm Sarah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Erin's wife and I was a former makeup artist, freelance makeup artist for fashion and bridal parties and um, all of that good stuff for about seven years. And, um, I loved it. It was, it was an amazing thing to be able to help people feel beautiful. Um, but one thing that really was hard for me when I was a makeup artist was a lot of the, the makeup companies that were out there, even the ones that were clean and natural, I knew that they had some ingredients in them that still weren't the best. And that the other products, you know, I was using different products from Sephora, Mac, all, you know, all the photo shoot products that were great for photos. Um, but I knew that they had ingredients in them that were not so helpful. And my dad, um, my dad was diagnosed with cancer a long time ago, but he worked in the um, hair salon industry and was around all sorts of chemicals and everything. So um, me being a makeup artist, having that past with my dad having cancer and being around a similar industry as me, I really um, wanted to switch things up for myself and for my family and just use products that had healthier ingredients. And I'm sure, you know, those of you who are watching this right now, maybe you have a similar story or maybe there's a particular reason you want to use more natural, um, a more natural makeup line. That was it for me. Um, and also I have really sensitive skin. Like I've had horrible eczema as a child and break out from everything. And this does not make me break out. So I'm super thankful. All right, so let's get started. Why Savvy Minerals? You know, there's lots of different companies out there. One thing that I really love about Savvy Minerals is that they have banned over 2,500 ingredients and even some natural ingredients that other clean makeup companies use. They're free of parabens, um, bismuth, talc, um, some ingredients that can cause respiratory issues, that sort of thing, uh, petroleum-based ingredients, silicone, et cetera. There's a nice long list. Um, Aaron could post that in the comments if you like. Um, so I just feel great. It's a, it's a plant-based vegan product, uh, product line, which is awesome. And yeah. So I feel really good about it. So that's just a little kind of backstory about the ingredients and everything. Um, and if you have more questions about that, feel free to ask. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next slide. And Erin, how do I go to the next one over here? All right, 
pressing it, okay. Awesome, so we went over savvy mineral ingredients. Let's start with the skin because this was the biggest thing for me when I would work on clients um, and they would ask me, you know, what foundations and things could they use for coverage because they had different skin issues. And really, I mean, there's lots of good foundations to cover, but if we work on the skin, we work on the internal part of our body, um, our skin is going to look a lot better. So number one is hydration. Um, a lot of you probably know that, but many people don't get enough water throughout the day. Um, I forgot what it is. Isn't it like half your body weight in ounces or something like that for how much water would be helpful for your body to stay hydrated throughout the day? I personally use these mason jars and I just try to drink these are quarts and I drink four of these a day and I'm super active. So I need a little bit more water but hydration is such a key. Most people are just super, super dehydrated. Um, the other thing is uh, there's a couple of essential oils that you can use um, that are great for skin, but let's start with washing our face. Um, Young Living has some great cleansers. Um, you can even use their foaming hand soap. I'm gonna show you a couple of them. So one moment. <clears throat> All right, they have the Bloom line, which I don't know if you can see this, it's a little bright. Um, I like this line for people who have oily to more normal skin. Um, you can use it if you have dry skin. I just have found that this one has worked better for my friends and family members who tend to have who are more on the oily normal side. If you have dry skin and you love this, please comment below. I'd love to know, you know what your testimonial is. Um, I really, I prefer the art line. This is their toner, but they also have a cleanser. And I feel like the art line is really good for people with uh, drier skin. All right, and then we have moisturizers. So we have the Bloom Brightening Lotion. There's also the art line again, that has the um, art mo light moisturizer that you could then use for your face. And I'm missing a toner. There's also a toner here anyway. Sorry, I missed that step. Um, yeah, so that would be the basics, right? Uh, the basics of your skincare. If you don't have any of those products, it's okay. One tip or trick that I've learned over the years is Young Living, the rest of their products are so good that you can use them for so many different purposes. Um, one thing is that either the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, I've heard from multiple people that it has cleared up their skin um, if they have different... I'm trying to be compliant here, but different, you know, marks, little marks and things like that in their skin, it's been very helpful. Um, I have, I think the, the luscious lemon foaming hand soap in my bathroom and I've just been using that to wash my face. I, it's summertime and I know a lot of you live in Arizona or you're in very humid places. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have not been wearing makeup. I have, I, I'm like just trying to hold myself together. And so I've been just using the foaming hand soap and a little, a bit of this um, Young Living Beauty Boost Serum. And that's been pretty much all I've been wearing all summer and it's done the trick for me, which is great. So if you're a person that like needs to keep it real simple, um, I would say use the foaming hand soap and get yourself a little serum here. So this, uh, I love this. Um, my sister-in-law was using it and I saw her, I don't know, a couple months ago and I was like, why your face looks so good? What are you, what are you using? What product am I missing? She's like, oh, I'm using the um, Young Living CBD Beauty Boost. This is the 600 milligrams. And it's just a really nice serum. As you can see, I'll put it on. I purposely did not put, I just washed my face um, and I did the clay mask before coming on here. I purposely didn't put anything on my skin so you guys can see um, you know, the whole step of everything. So I just put some on my skin. It's great. Put some on your neck. And yeah, it's just a really beautiful light serum. It's not oily or anything like that. Um, it kind of will dry in about a minute from your hand. So yeah, love it. All right. So that's the skin prep. If you want to use a couple of oils, you can even mix these in your, um, beauty boost serum, or if you have the art renewal serum, that's great too. Um, frankincense is great for fine lines. And um, if you have any minor sun damage, uh, 
I like to, again, put it in the beauty boost and then I like to put it around my eye area or my forehead where I have a lot of sun damage. Um, awesome, I'm just reading some of the comments and I'll get to those in just a moment. And then lavender, this morning, my eyes were like, I woke up with them just kind of like uh, irritated a little bit. And I don't know if it's something in the air, but I was like, okay, what, what oil do I have around me? So I grabbed lavender and I took a couple drops and I just put it around my eyes. And literally within a minute, my eyes were perfectly fine. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I should use my oils, right? Like we have them around and then I'm just somebody who forgets. I'm like, oh yeah, they work. Um, all right, so this, those are the oils. One other oil I don't have right here, but it's purification. Um, if you're somebody who maybe has some darker uh, area under your eye, purification is great for circulation. So in the morning, if you look kind of tired, you can put a little purification in one of the serums or jojoba oil, something like that, and kind of put it around your eye area. All right, let's move on. Brushes, Young Living has a bunch of brushes. I currently only have two here with me. Um, I need to get some of the other ones. So I have this brush, they're all vegan. Um, they're made in Italy. I have this other nice angle brush, this eyeliner brush, which is, I love it. If you're gonna get anything for your eyes, by the way, to like to do um, a liner or to fill in your brows, I would get this brush. This is, has the angle up here and then it has this point up here. And if you want to get eyeshadow, this kind of nice square brush, I'd also recommend for blending, get the fluffy brush. The one I'm missing is the blush brush. So that's the nice long fluffy brush. And it's amazing. I've used my mother, my mother-in-law's, she literally has like the whole case of all everything savvy. Me, I'm trying to get things in doses on, on each ER order. Like, okay, I'm going to get the eyeshadow this time, the multitasker. Next time is going to be the brushes. So I'm, I'm making my way there. All right. And yes, and Aaron's gonna ask a giveaway question. Go ahead. All right, so what is, and you're just gonna answer this in the chat box, um, those of you who are brand new to these Wednesday night workshops and we're giving away a $20 product credit. Um, <laughs> Our goal is to focus on uh, people who have not received. So um, I'll, but everybody answer, please. We'd love your, love your thoughts. What's an oil that can be helpful for your skin? So maybe it's one that Sarah mentioned. Maybe it's one that, um, that you know and that you love using that supports your skin. Cool. So I'm going to talk a little bit more. And then Aaron is going to um, pick a winner for that. So before I move on, I'm going to answer some of these questions. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. And some of them I'll get to when I get to that section, like best way to apply liquid foundation, best way to apply blush and how to prepare your skin before applying blush. Okay. Is it okay to add CBD boost with moisturizer or separately? It's totally okay. I would just, you know, see how your skin feels with doing that if you add it to a lotion or something like that. It's fun to read all of your comments. Anything to prep my skin to minimize pores uh, before applying savvy minerals? Um, you know what, I, I'm gonna have to look that up for you. I'm, I'm not really sure if anybody has that answer. Um, I don't have that off the top of my head. Um, awesome, okay, cool. Okay, well, we'll continue to move on. <clears throat> uh, so the misting spray, I don't have that here. The misting spray a lot of times is used if you have the, um, the powders, uh, for instance, this is the foundation. They have a powder foundations, not just the liquid ones. Um, so if you want this to go on and you don't want it to go on dry, you want to use this misting spray to spray onto the brush over there. And then you put a little of this in the cap. And then you dip it in. So you want to spray it a couple times, dip it in, knock it off the side, and then apply 
and that'll just help it go on so it's not super dry. And um, I feel like it also helps to stay on a little bit longer too. Okay, let's go over foundation, primer, concealer. Uh, the primer is will also, I did forget about the primer, will help to minimize pores. Um, there's a hydrating primer and then, um, I forgot what the other one is, mattifying, yeah. Uh, so the matte one, if you tend to have maybe larger pores and your skin is more oily combination skin, I feel like the, the matte primer would be better for you. And if you have dry skin, the hydrating primer is good. I've tried both of them. They're awesome. Um, if you're going to a wedding or something, or you're taking photos and you want more of a full coverage look for that, I would go with the matte primer. Okay, so let's talk about foundations and the best way to apply them. Erin, um, can you share um, the color match yep. first? Okay, yeah. so let's start with the color match of the foundation and talk about cool or warm tones and then we'll go over how to apply it. Um, so you can see here, there's they have a lot of different foundations. What's really great about their foundations is they're super forgiving. So if you get one that's like, you think maybe would be too dark for you, a lot of times it works. It's, I, I don't, I honestly like don't know how it works but it's kind of weird. Okay, so if you have cool skin tone, um, you would pretty much be opposite of me. If you are somebody who tends to wear uh, silver jewelry, maybe you burn easily in the sun, um, you have blue undertones, maybe your veins are a little more blue, then you would be a cool skin tone. And you would more be in this first category of porcelain or ivory uh, foundation. So you can see uh, on this first arm, porcelain, ivory buff, fresh beige, beige, uh, beige natural beige. Um, these would be slightly more cool to neutral um, colors. And then as you go up, you'll see that it's a little more warm. Um, if you have warm skin tone, you tend to have like a yellow sort of undertone to your skin, or maybe you have more green veins, gold tends to look good on you. Um, if you're neutral, you probably can look good in both things, um, both uh, silver, gold, jewelry, et cetera. Maybe you get a little burned and then it turns to a tan. So you'd be more of a neutral skin tone. That's typically my skin in the winter. I, I'm pretty neutral skin tone. I could go either way. And then in the summer, I get really tan. So I use a different foundation in the winter than I do in the summer. What I would suggest to most people is get a summer foundation and get a winter foundation. And when you're in the in-between stage, you can mix the two together and you'll get a really good match for yourself. <clears throat> okay, so, it, and if you're around my skin tone, I typically use the tan um, foundation and the caramel work really well. But I also know a couple of people who are slightly lighter skin tone than me, like um, my sister-in-law, Andrea, and my sister-in-law, Ange, and those have both worked for them. The tan one has worked for them. Um, so it's, it's pretty forgiving. Um, let's see. So in, if you need help with color matching, you can um, comment either in the chat or you can send, you can maybe put, if you're on Facebook, you can comment below and ask me if you really, really need help and you, you don't, you think you're very lost with it, you know, comment below and say you need help. And I can look at your Facebook photo and see uh, what color I think you would be. Hey, Sarah. Yes. It's Andrea. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm cooking dinner and watching and listening. Um, I just, you probably don't even know this because it's newer, but Young Living literally just changed um, the names of these to like numbers. I'm not quite sure why they did that, yeah. but so like, the names of these, they're not going to be able to find on Young Living anymore, okay. as far as I know. So what I'm going to do, there's, yeah. I have two graphics that show like the equivalent. So like if you're looking at natural beige, what is that in the number so that they can find it on Young Living? I'm going to throw awesome. that into the event 
Okay. Um, so if, they look, if they look in the event on Facebook, they'll be okay. able to grab these graphics so that they'll be able to like compare. Okay. Awesome. That's okay. super helpful. Thank you. Right. Awesome. Okay. So, and then we have, oh, and Andrea, I don't know if you're still on. What's up? Okay. Did they do the same with the uh, concealers as well? Um, I don't. They're mm, also light one, light two. I don't think so. I think those names are the same. Okay. Can discuss the foundations. Okay. Sounds All right. good. Uh -huh. All right. So now let's move on to concealer. Um, and Aaron, if you can let me know if people have other questions. Let's see. Let me announce. Oh yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to announce the, the first winner and ask the, ask the second question. Okay. Um, the first winner is I wrote it down. Is Sharia D. So um, I will put the, the link here in the chat box here in a little bit, and you'll just need to fill that out um, in order to get your uh, $20 product credit. Um, all right, second question. How do you tell if you are a cool or a warm skin tone? Good. So awesome. that's question number two. Awesome. Um, and let me see this graphic real quick. Yeah. Okay, so Aaron just pulled up this other graphic. Um, can you actually? Never mind, it's good. Okay, so I can pull it up in two seconds. Yeah, why don't you pull it yeah. up? I think that would be okay. helpful. This is a pause for one second as awesome. I pull this up. Thanks for sending that over, Andrea. Okay, I see. And almost there. Oh, you need to play some music in the background. No, no, this, no, sure this is good. Well, in, uh, this, this is uh, helpful. We can just all breathe and take a moment. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Cool. All right. So which one of those you want to pull up and share the screen? Go right there. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for being patient, everyone. I think this is important to know. So and the and, visual is yeah. helpful. Maybe I'll just share mine. Yeah, you can just keep it up. That's fine. Yeah, it's good. Wait there. Yeah. All right. There. Cool. So that's one of them. Okay. So I know it looks. Wait, will that show? Does that show? No, you could actually leave this up. It's fine. Yeah. You can leave this up. You don't have to leave the other one up. So you guys can see that, right? Hopefully with the sharing. So it says C1 and I can automatically tell this is much easier actually to read because you can see that the C in front of the number means cool. And then the N is a neutral and then the W is a warm. So that's much easier to tell if you're a cool, neutral or warm. Like, wow, I'm, what, a, what an upgrade. Yeah, I'm, I'm like so excited right here. This is the first time seeing this. I'm like, yeah, woohoo. Um, yeah, so C1, if you're pretty, if you're pretty light and you're cool skin tone, there you go. If you're pretty light and you're more neutral, you can kind of burn or tan, uh, N3, so. There, just got there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's fine. All right, anyway, it's fine. That's what you want yeah, to it's it's fine. Okay. And now back to you. I uh, yeah, I am not I am not the best with computer stuff, but I, I'm trying. You're I'm trying. Good. Okay, so th this is just so helpful. Warm warm four, so C six N seven. You can easily look at these um, on the Facebook event and automatically see what color you are. Or if you're in between two, you can feel free to ask me. Okay, awesome. 
So let's go back to, yep, the presentation. Actually, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're, we're going to skip the presentation. We're, gonna freestyle. Yeah, we're going to move on. Okay, so that's the foundation. I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks now. Um, if you have any more questions about that, feel free to ask. Uh, awesome. And Aaron's going to pick a winner for this next one. Okay, so let's start with some concealer. I'm going to skip um, the foundation today. I'd like to leave my freckles and um, just do a very kind of basic natural look. So this is the medium one concealer. Um, there's light, medium and dark uh, concealers and the light one is great. Um, I use this for the winter time and then I use the medium one for um, the summertime. Actually, this is the light too. So you can see it'll look super pale and I'll show you so you can see how it looks on my arm. This is the light one. Better. And this is the medium one. You can see a difference. It's just slightly darker. It's not, it's not a huge difference. And even in the foundations, you'll see the same thing. Like I was saying, they're very forgiving. You're not going to see like a huge difference. Um, so with found with a uh, concealer, I like to just do a little spot treatment. I I got sunburns here the other day. So I'm gonna just do a little spot treatment here. Um, there's all sorts of different things you could do. You can do a triangle. It's really about bringing light to the area that you want to lift in your face or you want to cover dark. So for instance, like if I want to lift my eyelids and I want to make my eyes look more awake, I would actually kind of outline my eyebrows a little bit. You'll see it's going to look really weird at first. Um, and it's just going to um, kind of lift the eye up a bit. So anywhere that you want to lift or cover is a great place to do this. And this is always very odd doing this in the camera and not in front of a mirror and in front of a lot of people. <laughs> I will do my best. All right, does the concealer go under or over the foundation? It's really up to you. I feel like this has been like, a, this has been a makeup controversy for, for years. What goes on first, the chicken or the egg? And it's really, uh, it's really up to you. Um, I trying to think what I typically do. I typically do my foundation and then I'll do um, concealer if it's first, if, it, if I'm going for more of like a heavy coverage uh, look if, if it's for like a wedding or a photo or something like that. So I'm going to show you also like how this concealer covers for um, any redness. So right here. That. So if you want more of a full cover coverage, you can do the concealer. Also, another just random trick is if you're out of foundation, you can use this concealer and mix it with a little bit of this beauty boost and it will turn into a foundation for you. And it'll be a little, it'll glide on a little bit better. Yep, so Tony, you said same, I have heavy eyelids, almost can't see my eyes. Yeah, so this is a great little, little trick. Okay, the next step, we're going to do a little blush and I'm gonna give you a couple of tricks and I'm, I'm missing a couple of things. So um, for blush, for different skin tones, there's two different blushes. So you can tell this one's a little darker, this is a little lighter. This is called, like I do believe you're blushing. This is great for people who have cooler skin tones. The Captivate seems to work really well on people with warm skin tones. It's more of like a coral uh, undertone. And this you can see has a little bit of a lighter undertone. Um, so what I do with the blush is I like a very, very light coat of blush, like the sun just kissed my skin. So I can even, you can even take your finger and just take a little bit like this or your blush brush. You know, what I would recommend if, if you're using your brush, put it in the cap and then tap it on the side. Um, this is the way, you know, 
a lot of makeup artists uh, will use their fingers because our fingers have great natural oils and can actually blend really well. And sometimes they could blend better than brushes. The um, makeup artist who invented NARS was famous for using his fingers to paint faces. So just a little blush just to make me look more awake. Also, um, the bronzer or the, um, yeah, the bronzer, there's Summer Loved and Crowned All Over. Uh, those are great for contouring the face. They have a little bit of a shimmer to them. Um, they're the same size as the blushes. Or if you don't want to shimmer when you're doing your contouring, um, you can use one of the powder foundations that is slightly darker than your own skin tone. So I have the dark number one. I am not dark number one at all in the powders. I'm more like a medium. So you would take the powder, and again, if I had my brush, I would use it for this part. And what I do with this part is I put it right where I'd suck in and I want it to kind of um, give me a little bit of a shadow. So if I want to look a little more contour here, I would put it in that spot and move up. So with any sort of bronzer or if you're darkening an area, go where the sun naturally would hit your face. So you can already tell the sun has naturally hit my face here. This is where I would put a bronzer. And then we do it like that. And another good thing with foundation, with, um, with bronzer, you always want to blend it into the neck, into the ear, and into the hairline because there's nothing worse than that line of demarcation. And also, let's say you're wearing a dress that's low cut or a shirt, you can blend it into this collarbone area and give a little more contour. And that'll just kind of lift things. Okay, so let's work on some eyebrows next. And I'm gonna take this angle brush. All right, and then after I show you eyebrows, Erin's gonna pick a winner for the last question. So the eyebrows, there's um, the multitasker. This is the light version. And also what's kind of cool, if you, if you have this dark, um, the dark dry foundation, the, the powder foundation, it's almost the exact same color as the multitasker light. So you can substitute if you want to and you'll have a much bigger multitasker if you get the, the foundation here. So just a little, little tip. And then I also have the darker, the dark multitasker, which is the dark brown. Um, I like to mix the two because even though I have really dark hair, my eyebrows are naturally a little lighter. So um, I'll mix it in the caps and then I'll show you how to use it. Okay. Is the eyebrow powder uh, water sweat proof? Um, it does, it holds up pretty well with sweat. I wouldn't do like a crazy workout <laughs> with it on, but it doesn't come off like, I've, I've done a circuit before the, um, my eyebrows haven't like come down. I wouldn't like jump in with water or anything like that. Um, but it's, it's not technically, it's not waterproof. So what I do with the eyebrows, I have both of it in the cap. So I'm gonna mix them together. And I'm gonna dip my brush in a tiny bit of water, like very, very little. I have a little water here. And always test it on your hand first, because if it's really dark, then you're gonna you know, have a super dark eyebrow. And also it kind of just takes off that extra powder. So let's see how well I can do this um, in the camera. So I like to brush, brush up the brows first. And go in, I like to go into any sort of sparse areas. One thing you can do with the eyebrows is first you can take that um, that concealer. And if you don't have like a great shape to your eyebrows and you kind of want to um, kind of want to outline your eyebrows first. So I'm gonna outline my eyebrows kind of the shape that I want and where I want to fill in. So I'm gonna leave this little gap open there and I'll blend this in afterwards. So a lot of times, 
you know, people will use like a light pencil for this. You can use this. So I'm just gonna start with this one eyebrow and I might just do one eyebrow for this class for you guys so that it's not super boring for you. Okay, so I'm gonna do nice light strokes following the natural hairline. So you don't wanna take the pencil and just do one line because it'll look really unnatural. Okay, I'm just in here and then I'm following this. So I'm basically just, you know, drawing in the lines. Okay. And I'm gonna wait till this dries a moment because it's wet. And then I'm gonna take this, or you can take your brush. If you have like a flat tip brush, you can blend down into it. I'm gonna use my fingers and blend down. You do use the finger brush. I do. Yeah. So you can already see. I feel like eyebrows frame the face too. And again, this might not look like super perfect because it's really hard for me to do this in the camera. And then this, I'm trying to blend up into the forehead. Okay. So that is best as I'm gonna get right now for this class. You can already see, right? This one's a little more defined. And if I wanna take a little bit more powder, I can take my other brush, my fluffy brush, and kind of just take a little bit more of that powder here, you know, so it's not a different color and, and blend it in here. So nice, light, fluffy strokes. Okay, so this eyebrow looks, this eyebrow is ready to go to dinner. This eyebrow is ready to hang at home. And she already did mine before we started. No, so I didn't. That's fine. Yep. Yep. So hopefully that helps you. Okay. Um, let's see. Does the concealer, yeah, I already did that one. Awesome. I'm going to announce the second winner and then ask a third question. Second winner is uh, Rachel Botkin Garcia. Congrats to you. I'll put the, um, the form in the chat box for you to fill out. And those of you who, you know, Andrea sent over the graphic and we weren't able to pull it up for you very well. Um, I did put the Savvy Liquid Foundation link in the chat box for those of you who want to go explore that. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that's, I'm super stoked about the new website um, and I've heard really positive feedback from so many of our teammates, just easy to access and find things. Um, so literally just going up to that search bar when you get on and typing in Savvy Minerals, um, it's and you can like then view all, just click on view all. I know initially it like shows up like five different products or something like that, but just click on view all and then you can literally scroll down through and and see more of these products that Sarah's been talking about tonight. Awesome. Oh, third question. Yep. You have one specifically off of? Yeah, the blush one. What blush would best suit your skin tone? Awesome, yep. so you can comment below. Okay, next step is eyeliner tip and trick. You wanna take your angle brush again, the same one I used for the eyebrows. And in your cap, this is my multitask. Again, I have the two mixed. You wanna put a tiny bit of water in here. I just took a little bit of water from that mason jar I held up earlier. And now I'm wiping it off the side so I don't have any loose extra powder. And I feel like this can be kind of hard for some people. So what you wanna do when you're applying liner is you wanna pull the eye a little tight. And you don't have to do one straight line, that might be a little hard. So you could do little kind of little marks and then come back. And if you miss anything, you can just come in and fill in the gaps. And you want, you want to try to get as close to the lash line as possible to make it look natural. And if anything's off, you can just blend it with your finger a little bit. So it just lifts the eye up a tiny bit. I didn't do like a crazy wing or anything. I can do a little bit of a wing if you want to see what it would look like. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit more re-dipping it in. Okay, I'm gonna pull it again and I'm gonna go up just a little bit, pretty much in a straight line. Instead of curving it up, I'm just 
gonna pull it straight. Okay, just a slight wing. I'm gonna fill in the gap. So see when I come up here, I have a little bit of a gap. So I'm just gonna fill it in. You guys are seeing me up close and personal. <laughs> Yay! And now I'm going to come back. So I have this done, and now I want to finish doing this uh, this other part of my eye, just kind of blending in. And I'm going to come in the corner a little bit more. This is one of those things where you go, oh man, I really pray to, I pray to God this works on camera because it works when I'm in my bathroom alone. Uh, all right. So I'm just, I'm filling in those gaps. Okay. So there we go. We have one nice eye, all lines. So that's my little tip for that. If you do the bottom liner, that's fine. But one thing that will happen a lot of times is it'll close off the eye a little bit. You can already see this eye looks a lot bigger than this eye. So if I put eyeliner here because it's dark, it's just it's just like photography. Like it's going to close the eye. If you put light, it's going to open the eye a bit. If you want to do anything on the bottom, one thing I would suggest is if you do take this fluffy brush and you could take maybe like a purple or like a light brown powder and just kind of put it on the bottom a little bit. Um, so it doesn't have that super harsh appearance, but still gives you a little something, okay? The next thing, Young Living has these awesome mascaras. This is the lengthening one. They also have the volumizing one, which is great. Um, I like a more natural look, so I like the lengthening one. Um, one little tip, if you want to curl your lashes without a curler, you'll look down, again, pull your eye tight. You'll, you'll also get more of a curl. Look down and you wanna blink actually because blinking will curl your eyelash. And usually I actually recommend doing your eyes before you even do your foundation at all. And you wanna get, you kind of want to go side to side and really get at that, um, the lash line and then go up. Okay. And if I want to bring my eye up even more, I'm going to do that outer and bring it up that way. Yeah. Until it's not, it's not clumpy. I have a little line here. I'm going to take that away. This is super, super natural, easy. <laughs> Good to know, blinking, yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to the eyeshadows and then we're almost done. Um, and if I'm missing any questions, please, please send your questions in now before, um, before I pass this on to Aaron in a few minutes. Um, all right, so a couple eyeshadow tricks. Young Living has some really nice ones. This is uh, their purple one. It's called Unscripted. I'm, you'll have to look and see what's in stock and out of stock. Um, they have some really nice matte ones and they have some ones with some shimmer in them. Um, also, let's see what this one, Wanderlust. This is a favorite of mine. Hard to see, here we go. And if you want a nice shimmer to your face overall, they have this diamond dust, which is like a, show you it's kind of hard with the light but it's like a nice veil you can put on over your face afterwards to kind of hold it hold out the makeup in place but also give you a little bit of shine and they also have some palettes too so this is the palette I have this is actually from a few years ago um this is at the time this is the number one palette but they have all different palettes I'm going to go in and use the purple um so what I like to do, again, this is going to kind of give more interest to my eyes. If you have a really large space between your eyes, 
um, and you want to bring the view up, um, you can just keep your eyes open and find the crease line. Okay. And so like, for instance, this is gonna sound silly probably to some of you, but as I've gotten older, I've noticed that my eye on this corner kind of droops a little bit. So a little trick is you can kind of pull out um, this, this shadow color and kind of do a line like here, because you're, you're bringing the interest up like towards the eyebrow. And then you can blend it in with your finger. So I'm not gonna do all of it. You can blend it in with your finger or a, or a brush. Okay, it's just, it's just like a little slight trick. And the key is just really blend, 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 okay? So I'm gonna do a little more. If you want to, okay. And if you wanna open your eye even more, we're gonna do a little bit of that shimmer. So this is the Wanderlust shimmer. Again, I want to bring everything up. So I'm going to place a little bit of highlight under that brow bone and also into the corner of my eye because that's where we have shadows on our face. So this will open my eye up even more, kind of like you used to see like some people would do like white eyeliner that kind of opens our eye a little bit. It's the same sort of concept. Okay, so just a little bit more interest in that eye. All right, last thing. Um, are eyeshadows true to color? Yes, they are. So the one I just showed you that I put on, I put it on in a very natural way. I can show you a heavier way. If you guys want me to show you like it, a heavy hand, it's really about if you're heavy handed or you're light handed because they're all buildable. So this is the super light version, but if I put it on my, um, if I put it on my hand, I'll show you, or my arm, show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see with the light. Okay, maybe it looks a little darker on my arm. And especially if I wet it, again, the, if you wanna make uh, the colors darker, you can wet your brush. So now I'm gonna wet my brush in that same eyeshadow. Look at how much darker that is. That's the exact same eyeshadow. So um, yeah, a couple tips and tricks. Last piece are the lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, Aaron, did one fall over there? The the Maven. Um, I love their lipstick, lipsticks and lip glosses. This, oh, never mind, I have it. This uh, is their lipstick called the It Girl. Um, this one is pretty matte. It's a very natural, light color. Again, you can take a look at their website. I feel like they're pretty true uh, to the color that you're going to see. This is Maven. I really like this because it has a blue undertone to it. So anything with a more of that blue undertone that's this, I would say this is actually more of a cool color, even though it looks like hot pink right now um, underneath, because anything with a cool color is going to make your teeth look a lot whiter. Anything with like a yellow um, or orange undertone is gonna make your teeth look a little more yellow compared to white. So I'm gonna show you, this is just the natural it girl. Very, very natural every day stays on well. It almost feels like a chapstick a little bit. Very natural. I love this one. This one is called Maven. They have a bunch of different colors. Okay. So you can see a difference. Okay. It's a pretty big difference than the top one. White teeth, yellow teeth, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, that's good for now. I, I'm going to dinner after this in like 20 minutes, so I, I better do the other side of my face. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for paying attention and coming to this class. Let me check if there's any other questions. All right, is there one final giveaway question? Oh yeah, okay. What's one new thing, tip or trick you learned from this class? And I'm going to hand the rest of this class over to Aaron and he's gonna tell, yeah, not yet.
I would like to have you what do you want me to say? Um, help me with this last part because okay. I think this would be helpful. Okay. Um, so let me share the screen to the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so yes, I'm going to share this screen. Which looks interesting. Okay, so here's the screen that we're sharing, I believe. Which, yeah, looks weird. Okay, perfect. So what I wanted to have Sarah do, those of you who are brand new to Young Living Workshops, I just wanted to um, really quickly show you if you are getting started, if you've never never started your Young Living journey before, um, you have lots of options as far as how to get started. Um, but this is the new website. If you go to youngliving.com, you may have to click on, depending upon what country you are from and where you're watching this from, um, you might have to you know, click on your country. Um, but here in the United States, for example, what you would do, so if you've not, if you've never gotten started before, you literally would, and you want to start with some Savvy Minerals products, okay? It's your first time. First off, I want you to see this piece right here. It says, place a subscription order or a one-time order of 100 PV to earn a 24% discount. So one of our biggest focuses is we educate people about Savvy, about other products, is getting that 24% off makes sense. It's not required. You don't have to do place a subscription order and you don't have to do a one-time order of 100 PV to get started. You can literally just hop on as a retail customer, have, help, have your friend help you. You can do that. Um, we just would recommend either doing the subscription order or this 100 PV to earn a 24% discount. So really quickly, um, I'm just gonna search Savvy Minerals. Okay, cool. So it pops it all up. And I just, Sarah, if it, if you were, if it were you, if it were you, and this was like, you're brand new to Young Living, you came to watch this workshop, what do you, like, as far as savvy goes, yeah. what are you directing people to as far as like, dive into this, this, and this? Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the mascara. One of the mascaras. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, eyebrows are a must. I feel like you should wear eyebrows if you're not wearing any other makeup because eyebrows frame the face. People, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those pictures of celebrities without eyebrows and you can't even tell who they are. So eyebrows are a must. So the Savvy Minerals eyeliner brush with um, one of the multitaskers. I know that's kind of like a weird thing to say, but that's, I, that's how I feel. <laughs> um, so eyebrows, mascara, and... Um, I would do a blush. I would do probably, well, the Captivate blush or the I do believe you're blushing. Um, but that's that's just me because I feel like if you're rushing out the door and you want to look alive quickly, those are the things that are going to make you look alive very quickly. And same if you want to throw on a gloss, but those would be like my basics. It, and if you don't, if you're not a blush person and you just want your skin tone to look even, then I would honestly just do the foundation and I would do the mascara and, and that's it. Um, and eyebrows, but yeah, I had to throw that in there. So yeah, those would be the things that I would for sure do. All right. That's awesome. So yeah. thanks for doing that. Yeah. I was just curious. That's such a fun um, question. I know. Cause you, okay. well, again, yeah. you probably would go through and like, eat, depending upon your needs, right. Um, if you have specific needs, specific wants. Here, you would here's my somewhere. last, here's my last thing. Yeah. If you want a complete like a complete basic makeup kit what I would do is the, the basics I'd get a foundation I'd get the concealer I'd get the blush I'd get the bronzer I'd get the mascara and the eyeliner I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything and the multitasker like those would be my and I could put this in the comments for you guys or on Facebook if you want me to just like say here's what I would get but that would be like the basics you know the, the eyes everything um, and then you could add, like, to me, the eyeshadows would be the last thing because they're, they're the extra, you know? Yeah. All right. And then last piece would be, um, you would, you would go through and fill out your order. So those of you who watch this on YouTube, um, if this is your first time, those of you who joined us for the first time through Zoom, 
just have your friend um, who, who invited you to watch this help you get started. Um, and they can help you figure out how to get the 24% off. If you do want to share Young Living products with other people, if that's an, an interest of yours, a desire of yours, you can become a brand partner. You just have to um, add on a business essentials kit for $29.95. So you would just literally put that in your, in your cart and, and have that be a part of your checking out and you fill out a, fill out a little form. Um, so anyway, Sarah, thanks so much for hosting Thank this you. workshop. Thank you to those of you who came uh, and watched this on Zoom and or Living Well Now Lifestyle Group. Um, yeah, thanks for being, being on this wellness journey with us. Um, I think one thing we've talked about over this last, I mean, we've known each other for almost 12 years and we've been using oils that whole time. I didn't want us to forget. Yeah, the one thing that we've realized is that having community members, right? Having people around the country, around the globe that are saying yes to body, mind, spirit, wellness definitely is like a kick in the butt and a reminder to just keep going just keep going just keep swimming i think was the phrase from from finding nemo back in the day right just keep swimming you know it's not perfection it's not perfection but it is about baby steps it's like oh i'm not going to use that antiperspirant deodorant anymore right and you switch that up oh the makeup i'm putting on my face i probably ought to shift that out um, and stop putting that on my face so anyway cheers to you keep going after your goals and your wellness pick, goals and Aaron the final winner. The winner. Um, and after this, if you want to stay tuned, Aaron is leading a uh, 101, like welcome to the business. If anybody has curiosity mm -hmm. about that side of things, uh, how long? 20 minutes? Yeah, it'll be 20 minutes long. Okay, yeah, it'll be, it'll be 20 minutes long and it starts literally in two minutes. So. All right, and I think. And the winner is down Well, here. we have a lot of repeat winners, so I. So right here, right here. I know, well, we've, but, every, but everybody. Right, wait, hold on. We're gonna say everybody wins tonight with a big hug. Thanks so much for being here. Um, we will pick a winner, we'll those, post it on the Facebook those, event. Those first two, all right. Yes, we'll post on the Facebook event. All right, thanks y'all. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hang around if you wanna listen into the other, the other call.